We have over 200 buyers here. We have over 200 sellers here. Japan is the uh, largest importer of U.S. Uh, feed grain. Good morning and welcome to Export Exchange 2012. The Export Exchange this year is, is, is specific. Why? Because uh, of the specific conditions of the U.S. crop this year. At uh, this time I have with me a large delegation, 18 participants, and most of them are grain buyers. We want to learn how uh, the corn trading is done. And I have new interest in product called DDGS, uh, which has high protein. You know, so how do, how do you thrive in a volatile world? This is the third year in a row that we've actually had a decrease in yield. Despite the drought and the yield environment we're going to have on corn this year, it would still be higher than most of the other world production areas. If I only have one product and they need four or five, you know, I'm, I'm probably not a real value-added supplier. Uh, we had some areas that did quite well. They harvested some record crops. An occasion for us to meet our big suppliers, okay, to make some fidelity, and to get new contacts. Like today, I have been two or three new contacts which are very, very interesting and can help me get in good products in, in best prices. The Japanese customers appreciate this opportunity to get information through the U.S. Grants Council at this meeting. A lot of countries have uh, expanded their diets, uh, higher protein, uh, larger middle class. They're uh, concerned about food security. And the United States uh, has been, and the farmers have been, a, a very reliable supplier. So I am optimistic, at least the trend is better, and, and that we will have the opportunity for improved weather uh, for the coming crop. What are you looking for for next year, for 2013 crop? Our intentions now are to plant 100% uh, acres to corn. My assignment today is to share with you briefly some of the changes that are occurring in the U.S. ethanol industry in the last 18 months and maybe even take a look at some of the ideas and technologies that are starting to occur that may shape the composition and feeding value of coal products out of the U.S. ethanol industry in the future. Ethanol today is a ubiquitous component of the U.S. gasoline supply. It is blended in nearly every gallon of gasoline uh, from coast to coast and border to border. And because ethanol has extended oil supplies, uh, we've also put downward pressure on, on oil. Uh, gasoline prices could have been anywhere from 80 cents to a dollar a gallon higher without the 14 billion gallons of, of ethanol that we blended last year. You're right, farming is personal. It's about families and it's about relationships. And that's all what we're here today to do.